So I, I, I hesitated to make this video yet because I have my really nice piece coming in and a couple of others that are also really sweet uh, megalodons. But, uh, you know, they, they vary in size, shape, and color and, and whatnot. But I wanted to show you, this is the little stand that I got for the first one that I bought. And then uh, I decided to step it up a notch and go for uh, a really fine uh, piece that, that hasn't arrived yet. This one is the one that I was emailing you about that was damaged and stuff, but I got it for for a song and and it uh you know I'm not going to mind as much for people handling it and uh and whatnot you know and even as a gift uh let me just tell you about this one this one is 4 4 uh 4 inches 5 eighths and I'll I'll show it to you in the light <laughs> dude it's so big dude um and I I have uh, I have pretty big hands so uh it, it's heavy. Uh, I, I got a good deal on this one because this piece of enamel is missing. But the one that I got for my dad, the enamel is all perfect and the shape is perfectly symmetrical. They call these the ears and uh, this is called the burlet, this crescent right here. And of course the enamel, uh, again, not retouched in any way. It's got... Uh, it's got nice serrations. You can you can really feel it. And then the back again, which is really cool because you know the fossilization process is picking up uh, riverbed uh, uh, um, sediment, and uh, it, uh, it they, they it really vary. So I love the colors, uh, and and you would think this is polished, but it's not. That's just the natural way that it that that uh, the the you should that they are. They're just the the nicer ones look like somebody buffed them, and they don't. Okay, um, that's why you know the front with with these you know thicker lines and stuff. That's why this one wasn't really as much. But this, even though uh, it has these imperfections. Uh, I got 30% off and this one was still $85. So, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's heavy and they measure it from, from one side of the ear from the, the gum, the root to the tip. Okay. And this has got a nice tip and, uh, it really just feels amazing, dude. It feels so heavy. Um, obviously, you know, you know what, a, how fossils are made. Uh, this one, it, it uh, this one is from the Pleistocene, Miocene uh, uh, era, and it's as you can see it, approximately four to seven million years old, and it was found in Hawthorne in the Hawthorne Formation from Beaufort County, South Carolina, again, which is one of the capitals of uh, of megalodon teeth. Okay. Uh, this is the little stand. This was, I think, like ten or eleven bucks. Megalodon, as you can see, you know how it tells a little bit about it. It 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 fits the uh, the tooth, you know, nice nicely and keeps it in place. There are plastic ones that uh, that are okay, but I kind of worry about them a little bit. You know, it's you definitely want to put them somewhere where where they're not going to be touched because you don't want them you don't want them falling. Uh, carpet, thank, thankfully, is here. But uh, but uh, if I were to, to display them somewhere, I'd want to make sure that they were secure, especially the uh, more expensive like ones. Like uh, you know, hell, you don't want to break anything that's millions of years old. But look at, <laughs> dude. I mean, compared compared to to a a great white tooth, a great. <laughs> A great white tooth is about that big, okay. The megalodon, can you imagine the largest predator to ever roam the planet and that <laughs> sporting that freaking, that big-ass jaw and they they had, 
the crushing power of the jaws of these uh, of these animals of these megalodons were they said uh, I think I think uh, insurmountable I, I don't think there's any other species of animal on the planet that have the same kind of crushing power because they found one embedded in a giant whale's vertebrae <laughs> and they 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 could deduce that it was from an initial bite. It wasn't like it was chewing on a whale that it had already killed, that it was like a first strike bite and the thing was lodged in this giant vertebrae. Uh, you know, so, you know, I, I watched a great special on Megalodons. It's on, it's actually available on, uh, on Netflix. So, uh, let's see, let me get back to the light here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. Uh, get a good idea of the <laughs> now I'm sorry but I gotta say for visual striking purpose and display purpose uh, and when you see the other ones with the colors uh, the other one that I got is just this gorgeous brown okay and uh, I just think they're they're so much more appealing and have so much more fierce, robust, you know, just, I mean, you can just see that, that comes from a fucking monster. Now a T-Rex tooth is cool. And if you know what it is, yes, it's, it's a neat thing to have, but they just don't look as neat. They don't look nearly as menacing as this freaking thing, you know? Um, so holy shit, man. Yeah. Uh, four and five eighths inch. Uh, and then, uh, you know, so it's, it's secure in that stand. Um, but can you imagine that's four and five eighths. Imagine one that's like six and huge. Okay. Or, you know, five and huge. You can get some and, you know, in, in the two to $300 range that are big, but they're just not going to be perfect. The perfect ones of those sizes, you know, you're definitely talking uh, 1500, 2000 and up. So I'll show you this one that was broken. I got like, you know, I really didn't have to pay a lot for it, but you know, you can see what's inside and how it picked up the, the, the minerals and the sediment, uh, during the fossilization process. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, it, it was, it was definitely worth, you know, I, I, I paid very little money for it. So, it, you know, like I said, it's great to allow, you know, somebody to touch it and feel it. And still it's, it's, uh, it's still, a, it's still, a, you know, very many millions of year old fossil. Uh, so, but the ones that I'm going to have on display, uh, are going to be really really nice pieces and not all of them are going to be that big because some of the smaller ones are just absolute they're like small flawless diamonds you know as versus a larger crappy colored you know yellowed out uh diamond with a shitload of you know flaws visible flaws so um yeah i i I, I think I, I will collect some that are smaller, yet just truly unique and, and, and artful. There's the little plastic stand, and it goes right there like that. I'm saving this. Uh, I don't know where I got that, but for for the big one. And then I'll probably make some stands. Uh, and then they have a nice black one that they just came out with like this that's also for like 10 bucks. So, yeah, dude. <laughs> you got going from ancient Roman coins that are this big to being able to display something uh, like that. You know, and, 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 and to show people and to share, hey, do you know what this is? Do you even know that this creature roamed the planet? that they grew to the size of a city bus, that their dorsal fins were eight feet tall, that their tail fins were uh, uh, freaking 20 feet tall. Holy crap, dude. You know, it's just, uh, it, people, I mean, my dad freaked. He didn't even know that they existed. <laughs> 
So yeah, I, it's a it's a lot of bang for the buck, and I think it's just a they're just awesome. Once you start looking at them, you see all the variations. You're gonna start wanting to bid on uh, on some really nice ones because uh, you know uh, you know hey they're like like dinosaurs found in 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 America and in the South and in that Bone River Valley. Uh, Aurora and Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina riverbeds. So there she is. That's the first one. When I get more, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll share it with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Worth every freaking penny. I have a nice book on megalodons coming. All right. Talk to you later, pal.